Hello everybody, Sleep Deprived Racer 1 here, and today we're going to be playing Spark, the uh, Electric Jester 3, and this is a demo which is free to download on Steam as of this very moment, and I'm going to be playing through the four stages that we can currently play within this demo. Uh, I'm not going to do the challenges because I feel like that's something you guys should experience for yourself, because I genuinely think this game is really good. Um, so let's just get started, man. And right here, we are in a race car, which is a little weird, but, you know, it is what it is, man. I, I, I like the mechanics of the car. I hope we see more of it, too. All right, let's go, man. So, like always, in the beginning of the game, there will be a prompt telling you that this game is best played with a controller. And that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> man, Jester's whip, man. Jester's whip is fucking fire. I'm not even going to lie. Let's see if it, it, it could take on the Maserati guy on TikTok. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, me and my Maserati. <laughs> Alright, let's, 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 let's keep it going, man. And apparently you're supposed to dodge these tor torches or TNT or whatever this is. In the, in the first recording I did, I, um, I, actually, I actually ended up hitting them. <laughs> and you can boost too, but I don't think you can regain the boost. Let's go, let's go this way. Let's boost a bit. Oh shoot, nope. Oh fuck. I'm gonna hit this curve. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. I really hope I see Jester in his car again, dude. It, it, it's... This gameplay is really good. It reminds me of that. Okay, I, I promise from here on out, I'm not gonna make as much... I'm not gonna make any, like, Adventure 2, Adventure 1 references to this game because I want this game to, to, to stand alone on its own, you know what I mean? And I also don't want to be annoying, but this reminds me of a lot of Sonic Adventure 2's uh, kart racing, only cleaner, much cleaner, and a lot better too. But let's go, man. Look at this man, just hopping out of his whip. He's gonna hop out of his whip. Bam. I guess, you know, right here you get a little feel of, of, of uh, Spark pretty cool I've already uh, I've already played this like I said and I I, I know how to cheese uh, spark a little a little bit you know what I mean but yeah with that being said we are done with the stage with stage one it is pretty weird but good introduction nonetheless and I gotta say man this this dude reminds me of uh, Rice star as well and oh my god I I, I love that game I love that game so much. So we're gonna go to area one, Terminal Village. Let's do this. And I have played this. I'm, uh, if I'm gonna do something blind, it's gonna, it's, it's probably gonna be the full game because I don't want to get caught slipping, man. I'm not the best at video games. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, th this game reminds me of uh, Sonic, Mega Man X, and as well as Freedom Planet. And, and there was another game, and Kirby, Kirby, it has like that, that style of Kirby, a little bit, you know what I mean? Look how fast I'm going, man, look at that, loop the loop. He can perform the uh, Jester Jash, which is pretty satisfying to hit, oh man, which is pretty satisfying to hit, when I mean, you know there's a chain of enemies and stuff, but bam, bam, bam. Like, I, I could just keep this going for, for hours, man. It's, it's, it's such a good move. Jester can also do heavy and short attacks, but you can combine them together as well. But yeah, man, this this, this game is pretty, pretty fast. Look at this. Look at that, man. I'm going fast as fuck. I'm going to hit these three speed boosters real quick. That one right here, too on these rails yeah the rail the rails are a little finicky in this game which I'll uh, I don't know for me it is but it, it's not that big of a deal because the, the the dash button is here okay come on and apparently Jester can can get power-ups as well from the like remembering the first and second game you could get power-ups which 
again making that comparison to Kirby. That man just killed himself. <laughs> comparison to Kirby, he can, you know, he can get different power ups and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go to the secret path. Look at that, man. Come on, let's go, let's go. I, I don't know what that does, dude. I've, I've, I've seen that before, but I, I have no idea what that does. And, and you can explore, you can explore the, uh, the the whole like area, but you can also be fast if you want to do it. So this game has options for like everybody, you know, those who want to explore and those who want to just like speed through the entire level. Pretty sure you guys can guess what I already do. <laughs> But man, this this game, man, it's so good. Oh shit. This game is so good. The overworld theme is so fire too. Okay. Now we're gonna do the boss, which is Saw Man. Which, this motherfucker looks like something out of Pokemon. Like, just wait, just wait, just wait. The, the cutscenes are a little, like, weird, too. But I like the art style. The art style, I'm fucking with that. This looks like the Pokemon, um, from X and Y, the, the first fire, uh, water type. Which is really cool, so... Right here, you have to parry this... You gotta parry this dude, and his shield will come off. And what I like to do with the dash is whenever he tries to attack, I just strafe away. I feel like Goku in this motherfucker. I feel like Floyd in this Mayweather, you know what I mean? Even though it's July. Fuck. <laughs> man. This boss sucks, man. Dude, when I first played this boss, I, I was getting my ass kicked. I'm not gonna lie. I was getting my ass kicked. Oh, fuck. And like I said, you could combine large and light attack, which is the best thing to do. There we go. Knocked his ass out. Nah, but we're not done, man. He's, he's, he's got a second form. Look at this, man. He looks kind of weird. Something straight out of... Uh, I forgot what... Straight out of Gundam. There we go. And I don't know anything about the Gundam series, but Loki looks like Loki looks like that. In my eyes at least. Oh shit, alright. Let's go. Yeah, just whenever he attacks, he's gonna um He's gonna telegraph his hits. And you can see whenever he turns his eyes turn red. You can see that, and that's when you could strafe away with the dash attack. With, I mean, the dash move. Oh, shoot. I suggest you jump on him. Jump on him so you can do this move. Because that's a multi-hit, and you know. Oh, shoot, okay. I got caught lacking. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh fuck, <laughs> got hit again. Fuck. But he is a easy boss nonetheless. And I am playing in the normal difficulty by the way. I really hope there's like a hard mode because I want to do that too. There we go, and he's gone man. Motherfucker's gone. We got, he's, he's pulling them claws. <laughs> Look at his leg. Yeah. He's gonna ye <laughs> He yeeted this motherfucker, dude. <laughs> oh, the cutscenes are a little weird. Ellie like Mize, at least. Look at this man. Bop. <laughs> and that's all she wrote, man. Look at that. He's like, got your ass, bro. Alright, I'm gonna skip this. Alright, we're done with that. And there's one more level to do, and... I'm gonna ask y'all something real quick. Okay? Hold on, hold on. It's overworld music, though. Okay. Go in here. Lost... Uh, I'm, I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. I'm stupid. 
Okay, we're 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 in the canyon area. Does this remind you of real canyon from Sonic Heroes, man? Even the fucking music. The fucking music is what gets me and the atmosphere. Look at this man. I'm going fast. Uh dude, this I think this right this so far, from what I've seen, this is probably like the best level. It reminds me of uh, Real Canyon and that other stage from Heroes, where you could do, you could go to multiple paths. Really good. The switch rails. Ooh, okay. Let's go again. Has that crouch uh, feature from Adventure 2. Which I never really understood how to use, but it's there. <laughs> okay, let's go fast. Yeah, I really like Jester's. Um, I mean, Jester. I gotta stop calling him Jester, man. His name is Spark. Because, you know, all my homies love Spark. Uh, I really like Spark's moveset, dude. It's, it's really fluid, it's really good. Um. I gotta get used to the, the, the Jester dash, because I'd be thinking that it's like some Sonic Adventure 2 type shit, you know what I mean? But it it's not. And you could take multi- I like the multiple pathways you could take, dude. It's so clean. Okay, I want- nope, I want it- I want to hit the spring. Or whatever this is. Oh shoot, is there a spring here? Nope. I guess I have to go rails. Yeah, I like I like the multiple pathways, dude. It's 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 really uh Sonic Adventurous. Probably in like ten years from now when I play uh when I play like when I play this game it's it's probably gonna have the same effect as Heroes and Adventure where I'll, I'm still gonna be finding shit like years from now. I like that type of stuff, you know? Alright, let's go. Yeah, I wish the rails were a bit faster, man, because I like the thrill. And I don't want to have to keep pressing the dash, uh... The dash effect, you know what I mean? Alright, let's go. We're, we're finally getting some momentum, let's go. I don't know what those things do, by the way. Those little diamond things. I know this is currency right here, but I don't know what the other ones do. Let's go this way. Let's do that charge jester dash. Right. Oh my god, okay. I'm not gonna lie, dying this stage, I, I, I died. I did a pre-recording of this, and I, I, I died so many times on this stage. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Why do I keep getting hit by Fuego? This game can get hard sometimes. Oh, what the fuck? You're gone. Yeah, I don't know what that is right there. You're gone. Who next? Who next? Alright, I guess we good. Dude. This game just excites me. And I can't wait to play the, the other two games before this one. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit that speed boost. Hit this one too. Man, I, I, if the railing was a bit faster, I'd like the stage a lot more. But that's just me. Maybe I'm, I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Oh, hell no. Get the fuck off. <laughs> oh my god. Bang, boom, speed. 
jump. I know I'm being a little extra right here, but you know, it, it's for the sake of, you know, for the game. Look at that, man. Oh, I can't wait to see what else is in store for this game. Like, I'm actually excited. Dude, and this game actually has like a decent like time for the levels because they actually go somewhere. Unlike, unlike forces, man, and colors. You know what I mean? This game don't. This game got adventure syndrome, which is not a bad thing at all. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And I, I hate doing this, man. But we are done, man. That's it. Oh man, I really, I really wish we could get. To, I really wish we get to play more of this game because I, I'm just falling in love with it. It's such a good game, man. But with that being said, let me give you some positives and negatives before I, I, I end off this video. Positives, man. Uh, speed is great. I love the art style. I love the combat. I love the platforming and speed. It's all integrated into one thing since this is a demo after all I really do hope I mean that the grinding gets a little tweaked it's just my opinion I don't think maybe I'm doing something wrong I don't know but I think the grinding is a bit weird for me I don't know I don't know but because because this stage right here it could it could drag on for a little bit you know dragon nuts <laughs> but no, nah, in all seriousness, man, go go download this game. It's on Steam, and if you haven't played the other two games, I suggest you get on that too, because oh my God, this is a, a really good game. Just like Freedom Planet was, just like how Freedom Planet started, this game, just like how Freedom Planet started, this they were making you know Sonic fan games, but now they're making their own project, and and I admire that. I love that. Spark is a is a good thing, and I hope they keep making games. I hope this isn't the last game I see of, of Spark, because it's it's so good. I recommend, you know what I mean. You got a computer that can handle the graphics. It it really doesn't take much, to be honest. I have a I have a um, I have a GTX uh, 1650 Super, which isn't like the best card in the world, but it, it'll do. You know what I mean. But yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you for watching the video, and you <laughs> you know what I mean. Um. You know, devs from Spark. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna fuck with your boy, you know what I mean. Get a free copy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm gonna buy the game. Um, I'm gonna buy the game when it comes out, and you know, support the developers and all that. Cause, wow, I am just amazed at, at, at what this game um, showed. But yeah, man. With that being said, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm probably gonna upload more videos like this. You know, solo projects fan games uh the you know stuff like that i will be doing the generation showcase mods and all that other junk i probably have another video on the way for that one too so stay in the lookout man i do i do whatever i do all types of things dude um sonic call of duty uh gonna start doing mario of course spark you know i i want to add smash bros and all that but you know i don't want to I don't want to, you know, take too much of your time anymore. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is Supersonic Racer. I mean, Super Deprived Racer. Super Sleep Deprived Racer signing off. Peace.